uh, the Super Falcons. Just imagine since 2016 when they won the outcome, they haven't been in action. Mm. Yeah. So that's like more than a year and three months or so four mm. months. It's, I, I you know, think it's, 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 it's way to long. go. Way to go for, <laughs> for the guys up there. Then the fantastic friendlies for the Super Eagles. Fantastic friendlies um, for the Falcons as well. Right. Uh, uh, as you said, just 17 um, players called. Some might be surprised, but it's um, due to some issues with um, other players that were called. Vista issues, work permit issues. Uh, Africa's best player, Sato Shola, will be missing. Sure. You know, yeah. and uh, the Sofia um, DG, we are, we are hoping, mm. will be the next time Sato um, <laughs> uh, She's American born, you know, yeah. but adopted by a Nigerian father. She's just 20 years. She had played for the um, under 20. Uh, the, the Falconet, yes, the female under yeah. 20 team, and uh, she she plays for Excelsior in Rotterdam in mm -hmm. in the Dutch uh, female league, and she's quite a, a player, you know. Um, last season for uh, uh, a agent in in Belgium, 20 games, she had 18 goals and and 12 assists, mm -hmm. you know, fantastic player. And I really hope to see more of her. Yeah. You know, we've not, we've not yeah. seen a lot Boy, of her. She hasn't really had yeah, a chance. Two, two games for, for the Falconet. Test when, when game. Test game. Yeah. 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 It wasn't even, she didn't make you the final so, yeah. so, so we are, we are hoping, you know, mm. she might just be the next time um, I start to show her. I start to show her. She couldn't sort out, um, I think, oh. work permit or visa, visa issues. Issue you yes. know, and there are some other rumors that she wasn't released by a club. <laughs> Why? Because yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not speculating. You know? that's not, yeah, I'm just I think what to she say, said was actually, you know, visa issues and all that. So yeah. that's the reason. Yeah, I, yeah. That's yeah. Why so I, I hope, um, the, I hope the, the, the Falcons, you know, get to have a good game against France. It's right. a marquee friendly yeah, it is. by enemies, and it's going to be playing. Played I hope in will not Lima, be right to watch the way France, they, what they did to Ghana. Yeah. Interesting. But for for the lady in question, she's. It's safe to say she's yeah. champing at the beat, so she's Jeez, super man. excited. <laughs> yeah. uh, because um, as soon as she got uh, that invite, uh, she went to uh, social media yeah, to, yeah. Uh, you know, to just say like, I, I cannot wait. I'm honored, honored to play for uh, the Super Four Cons uh, of uh, uh, Nigeria. Perhaps this is the yeah. chance that she's been waiting for all these years. Yeah. Perhaps the new coach <laughs> will give her a chance because there's been talks, you know, back in the days of yeah. she's too small, too tiny, not as robust <laughs> and physical as, yeah, as a typical Nigerian, well, yeah. you know. So perhaps and, this and, new coach... And she, she struggled in the other 20 camp as well. She struggled, yeah. you know, she, she wasn't able to compete at the level mm. that, that, that her teammates that were. Physicality and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So well, I think football is more than that. It's, it's football all about is a lot more than that now, especially at the world level. At the world level, yeah. Definitely. That's why sometimes when we go to major tournaments, okay, when the energy is gone, what else can you bring in? What yes. else? So I think yeah. for her, she actually said that she's honored and proud to have gotten a call up with Nigerian women's national team. Mm. And also for, for the friendly against Air France that's coming up on Friday, she said she will give everything mm. God and then some for the country. Can't, I mean, she can't wait to actually see it. She can't, as she said, the feeling is indescribable. Right. Honored and delighted to go do battle with my sisters, all deserving and amazing players that I've watched over the years that, are, that have that have all made our country proud. Dreams definitely do come true. Mm. Just a small girl from Vegas, <laughs> from Vegas, with passion for football and green, white, green, running through her veins. Every and anybody that has ever believed in me said something positive about me, encouraged and motivated me and contributed to this. I thank you. Truly no words can describe the feeling, but thanks to everyone. That's how excited she is uh, getting the color. Uh, anyone, anyone who would be extremely excited to play, play for the national team yeah. and uh, not to forget the, the top players that were, that were named um, on the list as well, the likes of uh, Ngozi Bere, Glory, Ogbona, Rita Chikwelu, mm. uh, Ngozi Obasi, uh, Ngozi Okuli, yeah, Okuli, yeah, Kotne DK, Dizapara, mm. Anozi, you know, and uh, Esther Sunday, you know, these are well-known names. Mm. And I believe against France, even though we are missing a couple of key players, yeah. we'll still be able to play uh, to, to our strength. And I hope for a very good result against France. Yeah, that's what we are hoping for. I mean, not a good result could be 2-1, 3-1, <laughs> whichever way it's going to go. Because I know what they did to God. It's you know. just a friendly. <laughs> it's just a friendly. Um, but then, you know, when some of these girls, I, I love the fact that they also took some of the girls from the under 20 level, yeah. you know, to be part of it. I'm looking for you know. Anna Bimo as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, so these are some of the players we'll be looking forward to, to see how, you know, the coach just try and get these players together. Mm -hmm. And the qualifiers for our coach starts, I mean, starting tomorrow. Mm. Some countries will be playing starting tomorrow. So Super Falcons as champions will always get a bite to start from the second round, not from the first round. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that one goes out against uh, France. April 6th. Friday. Right. I just Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, where do we go from here, Tayo? Mm, okay, let's... Talking about... Yeah, Champions League, of course. Or oh, Alan Paddy first. Yeah, Alan Paddy. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about the let's talk about exciting stuff. Alan Paddy um, getting Will sacked. Will that guy ever get a job again? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, but in football, um, these things happen. Managers are hired uh, to be fired. They get sacked and they get uh, appointed. That's just the way it goes in the industry. But before we talk about it, let's talk about the UEFA Champions League. Quarterfinals action uh, tonight. Uh, and the biggest game of the night definitely uh, is between Juventus and Real Madrid. This guy's, uh, this club's met in the final uh, just uh, last year. And that uh, was a very convincing win for Real Madrid. 4-1, even though some people will say uh, that scoreline wasn't a... Was Total flattering. reflection, yes, quite flattering mm. for Real Madrid, but it is what it is. Uh, they want that one. And this time around, they'll be playing the first leg uh, in Turin. Um, Toby, yeah. how, how do you see this one going? Uh, if you want to, um, considering uh, the form of both uh, teams uh, in the Serie and in the uh, Spanish La Liga, uh, Juventus look like they're going to win another Serie title. Real Madrid, nowhere close uh, to winning the Spanish La Liga. Yeah, I, I think it's been unfair. It's been unfair to compare their uh, league form. You know, the Champions League and, and the Domestic League are two different competitions. And um, Real Madrid have proven that time and time again. You know, when they don't do so well in the league, they do so well in the Champions League. Mm. Uh, it's going to break... It's going to break a lot of people's heart to, to realize Real Madrid have lost only three Champions League matches in three years. Mm. You know, <laughs> they don't get to lose. You know, they've only lost to Atletico Madrid, Wolfsburg, and Tottenham multiple. Just three losses in three years in the Champions League. It just shows how much they love this competition right. and how special they are. Mm. They've won it back to back in the last um, three years as well. Mm. They're the only team to have achieved that feat. You can't write them off against Juventus. No way. No don't chance. forget about the final as well last year, 4 mm. 1 to Real Madrid. Some people said it was probably one of the one-sided finals that, that has been in the modern era. Yeah, turned out to the soul. Yeah, yeah, and, and with the age of Buffon and the defensive line of, of, uh, of Juventus, I don't think they can keep Real Madrid. Okay, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see when the uh, those two sides are uh, take to the pitch uh, later uh, tonight. But we need to go on this break. When we come back, we'll be giving you um, same news uh, from both camps. <laughs> 